guys and welcome to this saxophone tutorial on When I Need You. I've gone off the um, Rod Stewart version, this is taken from the original and then I've turned it into sort of um, a more of a kind of sax um, orientated kind of version of it. It's quite cheesy but it's quite nice and rocky really, you can get it kind of sounding quite cool on the saxophone and it's a nice addition to this beginners course for that very very reason because we can start to get a bit more of a rocky sound going on and thinking about you know what kind of sax player we want to actually turn into. Alright then guys, so I'm going to go on with the tutorial now. Also this involves our new notes which is E flat and B flat which we did in BC um, 402, I can't remember the number there. Um, so if you don't know E flat, check it out and have a go. I have no tutorial on that. All right, then, guys, see you shortly. Here we go. Okay, so the original when it's sung is a little bit um, less decorated. By that I mean when you hear it, it sounds something like this. <laughs> So it sounds kind of like that, um, but what we want to do is just give it a little bit more of a kick and make it sound a bit more rocky and a bit more saxophony. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it a little bit firmer, just a little bit stronger, and also I'm going to use those lip slurs that we were talking about before in order to slacken off my lip and get um, a bit more of a, you know, an ideal sound. And what you want to do is really sort of think about this when you're playing this through. Okay, anyway, enough talking, here we go. <laughs> So what I do there is I put a C and a D at the end of that little first phrase and it gives it a little bit more of a kick, makes it more saxophony. So the notes there, um, if you want to do it on your own, of course every time you do one of these phrases pause me and have a little work on your own, but the notes are F, G, F, D, then it's a really quick C, button C here, to D. Now, that's a really quick movement and beginners are going to struggle with that, so be careful that you're not going... It's very easy to sort of squeak. How I squeak, it's squeaky D's. I've mentioned this a few times now in um, various videos. C, D, if I don't get this G key down first, I'm very likely to squeak. So I'm kind of making sure that my hand sinks in this kind of direction, like turning from here to here, so that I don't, I make sure that I definitely close this key when I'm going from C to D really quickly. You can do a, different, a few different versions of a D, like using your palm keys as well, but to be honest with you, I think the D sounds better like this, and this, that kind of, that kind of sound of the whole tube closing off is actually quite interesting. I think it's quite a nice effect. So, I'll just do that one more time. F, G, F, D, C, D. You're going to have to practice that. Next bit involves a new note. So you do an F to a D, F, low F, to D with the octave key really quick. Ba -da. You get this kind of ba -da quite a lot. F, D, E flat, E flat, so it's one, two, three. One, two, three, and little finger on that top key there, not the low key, the top key. Nice and easy. So you play D, add little finger, that gives you E flat. Now there, I'm going to go F, D, E flat, F, F, now the F. Yeah, take a little bit of practice at doing that, just slackening your jaw off, lip slurs. If you don't have to do lip slurs, remember there's a video on it in this beginner's course. F, D, E flat, F, F with a lip slur, F, E flat, D, C, two, three, C. Then, then it's more or less the same rhythm, well, the same kind of... Um, um, little melody, but what you're going to do is start a note lower. So instead of going F D, you go F C. That's F C. F sorry, F C D E flat E flat D C D C B flat. Do that again. F D C. Oh. F, C, D, E flat. E flat, D, C. 
D, C, B flat. Now, the thing about B flat in this is that the piece has got loads of them in it. Some people say, ah, oh, loads of B flats, but no, actually, because it's got loads of B flats and there's hardly any, well, there's no B naturals in it, what you can do is you can keep, every time you play a D, look at my first finger here, it slid down. Boom. There I am. I'm sliding that down so that it's ready and waiting to be played, really. I don't have to think about B flats anymore. That first finger slid down. <laughs> Nice fit. Same thing again, but this time instead of leaping up to a C, you're leaping up to a B flat. F, B flat, C, D, D. F, B flat, C, D, E with the lips let's C. B flat, A, B flat, A, G, F. A, B flat, A, G, F, quite quickly. That's gonna take a bit of practice on its own, guys, so look at my fingers there, F again, B flat key, slid down. A, B flat, A, G, F. Then back to the main tune again. But this time, instead of going bam, ba, ba, you're gonna go F, E flat, D, D. F with the active key, E flat with the active key, D with the active key, D. Moving on. Now let's just do a little bit of a riff there, a little bit, instead of doing the actual melody, we'll just do a little bit of a sax riff. Sounds quite nice. So you're gonna go F D E flat F F F F G F D F See Paul, I have a little experiment of trying to put some vibrato into that when you're going F F F F G F G F and also add a bit of a lip slow as well and see if you can get that to sound really really cool. Um, then really, it's a massive repeat of that whole section. Then uh. the C. Repeat to the end, the F B flat bit that we did earlier. We're just going up to the C instead. And then the next part. So you've got B flat, A, B flat, A, B flat, A, B flat, C, D, C, B flat, A, A. And you can put a bit of a B um, in F before that if you like. F, B flat, A. Then repeat. But pull out of the F's at the end. So it's exactly the same as the previous phrase, but what you're going to do is go up to F. D, F, F. F, B flat, A, B flat, A, B flat, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, F, F. Then the next bit, D, E, flat. D, E, flat, F, F, F. G, F, E, flat, D. F, E, flat, D. Sorry. D, E, flat, D, C. Then, F, E, F, D. E, F, D. D, 
D flat. Fa E flat D C E flat, and then it goes back to the beginning again. And then it cycles that through. All right then, guys. So that's all the parts to when I need you, taken from the Rod Stewart version. So once you've gone through this video, um, pause me, had a listen to how I played it, try to copy the sound a little bit, then try and put it in with the original along with um, Rod Stewart. I think it works for Leo Sayers' version as well. So I'm not sure about the Celine Dion version, but I mean, you can have a little experiment with that yourselves. But that's the outline. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye.